While learning about sorting algorithms, many people ask what stability is and why it is important. This video will help you understand a stable sort and unstable sort in full detail. Having stability in sorting means that the algorithm sorts identical elements in their same order as they appeared in the input. One such stable sort is bubble sort. Look how there are three different sets of identical elements and their order is represented by having light blue as the element that appeared first. Let's start sorting. As a side note, the elements presented in dark red are being compared and elements presented in light red are being swapped. Sorting is complete and you observe that every set has maintained their order. On the other hand, in an unstable sort, the order of the identical elements is not guaranteed to stay in the same order as they appeared in the input. One such unstable sort is quicksort. This is the same set that was used for the stable bubble sort. Let's start sorting. Sorting is complete and you observe that element 6 has its order switched. By looking at the initial set, every light blue element appeared in front of its dark blue match. Since the order of the identical element 6 did not stay in the same order as they appeared in the input, we conclude that quick sort is an unstable sort. Now you might be asking, why is stability important to sorting algorithms? When sorting some kinds of data, only part of the data is examined when determining the sort order. For example, say that you wanted to sort the playing cards by their number, regardless of their suit. This allows the possibility of multiple correctly sorted versions of the original list, since there are three fives. But by using a stable sorting algorithm, there would only be one version of the sorted set, and the relative order of equal numbers will be preserved. One application for stable algorithms, which won't be achievable by using an unstable sorting algorithm, is sorting the playing cards by their number and suit. First, by using any sorting algorithm, stable or unstable, it is categorized by its rank. We can use the unstable quick sort right now, since all we want to do is group the ranks in the correct order, regardless of the suit. Sorting has finished, and we see that the ranks are grouped correctly, but their suit is randomly displaced. Next, by using a stable sort, it is categorized by its suit. A stable sort is used because we are only considering their suit in this step, and we do not want the numbers within the same suit to be jumbled. Sorting is complete, and we observe that the cards are organized by their rank within its identical suit. However, if an unstable sort was used in the second step as well, we would get the wrong results. It seems like using a stable sorting algorithm is the right choice, but there are advantages of using an unstable sorting algorithm. The advantage is that unstable sort tends to be faster and easier to code than stable sort. Also, stability is not an issue if there are no equivalent elements in the set. Well, that's it for stability. Check out the link in the description for the bubble and quicksort Python code.